Today's video is gonna be another basics video on Takadimi, but instead of using a drum pad like I've used in my previous videos, today I'm gonna to play it on trumpet. Well, cornet in this case. I actually left my trumpet at work, so we're gonna fall back on the cornet that I have here at the house. I've been promising some more Takadimi videos for quite a while, so I really do apologize that I haven't got this up sooner. Uh, just time got away from me, so I do apologize for the delay as I've promised this for a number of months. So today's the day we're gonna finally get these videos up. I'm gonna be putting up two videos today. The first is gonna be the basics again of Takadimi, but again, instead of using the trump, or instead of using the drum pad, I'm gonna use the trumpet. And then I'm gonna do a second video that's gonna talk specifically about rests, all the way from whole note rests up to 16th note rests. So we're gonna just again kind of cover those basics, but in a little different way. Instead, we're gonna be playing it on the trumpet so you can actually hear it in a different way than you were able to in my previous video. Now, I had this all done also last week. As I did promise, I would get this up a few days ago. Had the whole videos recorded, had it all set to go. As soon as I pulled it into my audio editor to get the audio situated, I had this nasty tone that kept coming in on the iPad and just completely ruined the entire audio. So we're back at it again. So this is take two. So hopefully this one goes better and I don't see any spikes on my audio this time. So now that I'm actually paying attention to it. So we're gonna jump in on the basics of Takadimi using a wind instrument. What I'm gonna do is we use a beginner book at school. I'm gonna just jump to a couple examples out of that beginner book. And then when I do the rhythm video, I'm gonna hand write a lot of that stuff so I can show it in that way. So for right now, I'm gonna actually jump over into my wind book. And we have that up on the screen. So we have Sweetly Sings the Donkey here. So a couple things to remember is whenever you see the quarter note, which is right there, you're gonna always say ta for that note. Whenever you see the half note, which is right there, you're gonna say ta ah, because those get two beats, so ta ah. Then the last one we're gonna see in this is the whole note, which gets four beats, and that's gonna go ta ah ah ah. So as far as the three rhythms you're gonna see in this song, those are the three rhythms. So the quarter note, which is just the ta, that's one beat. The half note, which is two beats, goes ta, ah, so one, two. Then the whole note, ta, ah, 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 one, two, three, four. The other thing you're gonna see in this is a quarter note rest. So a quarter note, you play for a beat. A quarter note rest, you rest for a beat. So instead of playing for one beat, you're gonna rest for one beat, and in those cases, we actually just say the word rest. Now to save on the writing a little bit, at times you're gonna see me just do a T, that stands for ta, you're gonna sometimes see me just put an R in and that's gonna stand for rest. So what I'm gonna do the first time is I'm just gonna speak through the top line only so you can just kind of hear how it sounds. Then when I go to play it on the trumpet, you will actually hear those syllables come through on the trumpet. And I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit. And when you do first get playing on whatever instrument you're doing, exaggerate it. Then over time you can just kind of think it and then eventually you'll just kind of feel that counting and you'll just know it. So here goes Sweetly Sings the Donkey. Ta 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 rest ta ta rest ta ta rest ta 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 so I know I said I would just do the first line, but it just didn't feel right stopping at the end in the middle of that whole song. So just easier to do the whole thing. So I hope you could really hear those ta's. If you need to rewind and speak along with it so you just get some practice seeing it and hearing it, I would start with that. Now I'm gonna actually go ahead and play it. And I'm gonna over-exaggerate the ta so you can actually hear it come through the instrument. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> And that is 
Princess Sweetly Sings the Donkey using the Takadimi system. So we're gonna jump over to another song. And now we have Skip to My Lou. Now we do have one new thing in this. So right now we've had the quarter notes, which are just ta. We've had the half notes, which are ta, a. Ah, and we've had whole notes that are ta, a, ah, a, ah, a. Ah. Now you're gonna see two notes in this that are actually connected together by a beam. Whoop. Don't wanna erase, we wanna make sure we draw. So you're gonna see those notes right there, right there, right there, right there. Those are called eighth notes. There are two eighth notes in one beat. So those two eighth notes happen over a period of one beat. So what you say instead is ta D, ta D. So quarter notes are one beat per note. So here's my metronome, ta, 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 ta. Now I'm gonna do eighth notes, ta D, ta D, ta D, ta D, ta. And if you notice, the ta happens on the metronome beat or the click. Ta di ta di ta di ta di ta. So now if I speak through this song, you'll hear how this fits in with the beat. Ta 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 di ta 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 di ta 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 di ta 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 di ta 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 di ta 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 ta. So toddies are two eighth notes together, and those happen over a period of a click. So the one thing you really wanna remember is with the beat when you're clicking or you hear the metronome going, the only things that are gonna happen on the beat, on the click, is a ta, an a, ah, or a rest. So ta, 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 di, ta, 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 di, ta, 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 ta. So you're gonna hear all those things, the ta's, the ah's, and the rest all happen on the click. The D happens in between. Ta di ta di ta di ta di ta. So now I'm gonna go through and actually play it on the trumpet. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> In the song, you could actually hear those toddies happen. I'm gonna jump to one more song. Hold down, we've got the serenade. So now we've got a couple of rests that happen in this one. And again, I'm gonna do a follow-up video that I'm gonna record right after this one, and it's gonna go up at the same time as this video that's gonna deal just with rests. But in this song, you're gonna see a lot more eighth notes in here. So you're gonna see a lot more of those toddies. But in the very beginning, and in the middle of the second line, you're gonna see that whole note rest. The whole note rest kind of looks like a hole in the line. You'll see that the rest is just on the bottom part of that line. So a whole note gets four beats. A whole note rest gets four beats of rest instead of playing. So all you're gonna do is say the word rest four times. That is all you need to do for whole note rests. And we're gonna use the same thing. So I left the toddies and ta's, the takadimi writings off the second line and just wrote them in on the first line. So you'll see the beginning will start out. Again, pardon my singing. I probably should have started with this before the video got going, but I am not the greatest singer in the world. So please excuse the singing. It's hopefully helping just make the point of how you actually count this. So again, as I illustrate, you don't need to be the best singer in the world. So here we go. So um, it starts out with four rests. So as soon as you hear me say rest, that's the beginning of the song. So rest, 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 rest. Ta di ta di ta ta di ta ta di ta 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 di ta ta di ta ta di ta ta di ta di ta ta di ta ta di ta 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 di ta di ta di ta di ta di ta di ta rest 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 rest. Ta 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 di ta di ta di ta di ta di ta di ta. And that's how you count through it. Again, you always want to make sure you count through the song. You don't have to do it out loud like I am, but at least think through it and count it in your head while you're doing it, just so you get a sense of the rhythm. So now we're gonna play it. One, two, 
ready, go. Rest, 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 rest. <laughs> And that is how you play the song Serenade, again, using the Taz and the Toddies. So I hope that helps you kind of hear maybe a little bit better how Takadimi works with some of the basic rhythms. This video, again, just kind of covered the whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes, which again is a good percentage of your music. I will do a follow-up video. Um, I'll try to get it out before the holiday season, but if I don't, I'll get it out sometime in the next few weeks. That'll also include 16th notes and really kind of use a lot of different examples so you can actually hear how those sound as they're being played instead of being done on a percussion instrument. So I want to make sure I kind of cover the basis with all the different instruments that are out there. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I know this can be a very confusing topic, and this is a new way of, not a new way, I should say, this is just a different way of thinking about rhythms, and I am so thankful that so many of you have found this video helpful. But if you do come up with a question, please, again, leave a comment down below. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you might have, and if I see enough questions on a certain topic, I'll just go ahead and make a video on it to make it easy. And also, while you're down there, Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all my latest video tutorials and music related videos and hit that little bell icon just to the side so you can be notified when those new videos are released. Otherwise, this is Adam on Tech, Music Guy Today, signing off.